Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing you how to fold this rectangular prism. This is actually designed quite a long time ago, quite a few years ago. Get your camera to focus here. And this, I'm going to be showing you how to fold this. This is from a 6 inch square. We're going to use this 6 inch square. Start with the colors that you're going to divide. First, we'll just divide it into thirds. The way I do it is I kind of go like this, line up the edges and pinch. Now with the white side facing up, we're going to fold this corner or this to the third mark. And fold this to the third mark that we pinched. Unfold these two sides. Now fold this edge to this mark here. This is actually a sixth of our paper. Unfold, rotate. Bring this one to this crease here. This model is fairly easy to make. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make some X mark X's in these narrower, three narrower bands. So we're going to take the end here and fold it up. And we're going to fold this, make another ballet crease here. And then we're going to do another X in here. Fold this to here. Careful to line things up and bring this over here. An X. And then we're going to do one more at the end. And we're going to repeat on the other side, the opposite side. One X in that area, another one in the middle. And another one on this narrow strip at the end, this end. Now we're going to fold it. We're going to fold this down. To make it easier, we're going to fold this in and we're going to fold right along that edge. Like this. And now we can unfold this. We're going to flip this over and do like an accordion fold. We're going to fold this back so that the fold is right along with the edge of the paper and that the creases are lined up. Now we're going to unfold here, rotate it, we have a valley fold here. We're going to reverse that into a mountain fold, and bring this mountain fold to this crease, basically doing a pleat. Just like this. So you can see we have this pleat. Now I'm going to just repeat that on the other side, so we'll turn it back over this way. Again, I like to fold one of these corners up for guidance. So we get a nice accurate fold across. We can unfold this now. Flip it over. Fold this up so that the crease is right along with the edge of the paper. Unfold. Rotate 180 degrees. I'm going to reverse the valley into a mountain. Fold the mountain crease to this other crease here. so that the two creases line up. Now we're going to actually form the prism. If you turn it over you can see this pattern here. We're going to fold, reinforce the creases on the existing creases. And now we're going to tuck these ends together by simply interlocking the tab into the pocket like so. Just like that and slide it together. I'm going to get that kind of case going on with it. And then you have this rectangular tube shape. Now to lock the prism, the end of the rectangular prism, this is a method I came up with myself. You're going to see, you can see there's a loose flap here. You want that side, that's the side you're going to fold down first. So you're going to take this along the creases and fold it down into itself like this. And this flap will just fold with it. And then we're going to pull out here on the creases, flatten like this. So you have kind of that shape. And now these triangles we're going to tuck into this slot right here. So I like to sort of curve this down a bit. And tuck the triangle. Oops, I hit the camera there because it's on the 
the triangle is going to tuck into the pocket. This is sort of a difficult step, but take your time when you're doing it. You don't want to rip it or crumple it, crush it. I keep that in frame there at the same time. There we go. That not the greatest, but again, that's what you kind of are making. This side here is a bit thinner, so it'll be easier. You're going to fold it down, open the tab, and stick it into the pocket. If you want, you can put your fingers in, finger inside this opening to support it while you're tucking it in. Now you're going to repeat on this end. Same again, have the flap side facing you. Start with that side first. Fold this around and then pull, fold it down. And now, uh, this is a thicker one, we'll do that one first. There you go, we just tuck this triangle into the, the pocket. And you can see that's really tricky. But you can also, what I recommend doing before you tuck it in, is fold it over like that. And then tuck it inside. And there you have a rectangular prism from a square, uncut square sheet of paper. Not too difficult to make. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. And now you can, I guess, use them for juggling or just as a decorative item or whatever. But that's the rectangular prism that I designed about three years ago. I hope you're able to make that one. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.